big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. All units be advised. After the raid on away, there was no sign of Sean and Daniel Diaz. We believe they left within the past few hours. The two brothers are still considered armed and dangerous. Proceed with caution. At this time, only the mother of the fugitives has been arrested. Oh no. Sean, why would they arrest Mom? Why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. They better. I'll teach them a lesson if they don't leave us alone. They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. Uh, hey. Sean? Why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trashed, or what? I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us, right? I know. It's going to be super easy with my power. This is the opposite of Seattle. We're at the end of America. Shit. I didn't think there'd be more than a barbed wire fence out here. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. To uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it. 
we fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <gasps> All thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. We've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh, man. Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. It would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some choco crisp. It'll be so Daniel. Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Oh. 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 No. No way, not now. Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, oh! Oh! oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed him. Let me him. go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. That's fucking funny. Now it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Do we look like terrorists? We're just kids. Not after you blow a wall up. So tell me the plan. That was not us! We have no idea how it happened! Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Porter Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on! We have to deal with this kid. No, Stop bleeding. Don't touch him! Get off! No, don't move! Ugh. What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal, he knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <sighs> Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! <sighs> Fuck's sake! What I say? Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? I I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest.
Don't look at me. Estás bien. Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron a cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh, this place is fucking gross. I wonder how long they've been here. And why. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. No somos ilegales. Nacimos aquí. Intentamos llegar a México. Pues ustedes van a ser ilegales en México. Cuestión de perspectiva. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Son muy valientes. Y además estás embarazada. <ríe> Mi Carlita es la mujer más valiente del mundo. <ríe> y la más inteligente también. En nuestro pueblo era profesora. Queremos que el niño nazca en este país. Que tenga la nacionalidad. Queremos darle una vida... Una vida mejor a nuestro hijo. O hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Tuve suerte que mi padre trabajaba duro. Que fuimos bien integrados. Lo comprendí cuando murió. Cuando me quedé solo. Lo siento mucho, hijo. Cuando eres extranjero. Oh, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. You're generalizing. 
Not all immigrants cause trouble. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Lots of them do. Our prisons are full. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> that's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. Now you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. what you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale la pena. Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay? Let's move it. All right, sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood, but he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good, be right back. Fuck. What did they do with Daniel? I hope he... Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. Shut up! What? You don't get to talk to me like that, Mamacita. You understand? <sighs> so tired of all this shit. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? 
Yeah. No. Coffee's gonna make me feel Shit. so much better. At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Vandalizing a motel room. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm. Oh. Which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But... Denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did... was try to survive. Yeah. I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? What do you want me to say? We're supervillains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! What is that? Uh, sir? I don't think you Keep should... Keep your ass in that seat. Hold on. You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Dude, who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Yeah. Sorry for that. Who are these people? You'll be fine. Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who try to shoot you. Really? Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Yes. <laughs> sure. Get out before the fucking backup gets here. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Whoa! 
That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. O of course. Holy mother. How'd you do that? How? Well. Time for payback. What do you want now? Your turn, Daniel. Fuck off. Oh. Don't mess with this kid. I mean it. Oh, oh shit, Miss Neil. That's what they get. Miss Neil. Assholes. Hope it'll teach them a lesson. That's what he gets, right? Well, he's up for the count. Okay, hands oh, up! Shit! Don't oh, move! Don't shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean? Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean! Quick! I gotta find something to stop them. Come on! Get rid of them! We will shoot if we need to! Understand? The Should chair! I take care of this? Don't do anything stupid, kid! Throw that locker! Ah! Idiots! Should have known me. Yeah, you saved our asses. Now let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. Step back. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. After this, you're not gonna hunt shit anymore. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger-happy people. There's probably more of them coming! Let's go! We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. It freaks me out when you... Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go! Let's roll, Daniel. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean. It's the 4th of July. Our first one without dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. 
I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, we can't let them get us. Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say! You know that day in Seattle, the date Dad was shot? I think about it every day, and I would give anything to change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you were the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter, Inano, like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? Their story ends right here. But no, no, Daniel, come on. So we went all this way, all that shit for nothing. You told me we were doing the Mexico. You said we're done. The end. It's not. Who we are. Now it's my turn to take care of us, Sean. Everything will be alright. I promise. What? Daniel! No! Stop! <laughs>
Sean? Sean! 